we successfully recomposed six human donors to prove that this is a safe and effective method of disposition. While I was doing all this research around the funeral industry, I found out about natural burial, which is a beautiful option where bodies are uh, wrapped in usually a shroud or a pine box and buried in the forest or the meadow or some sort of conservation land. And I thought, oh God, that's perfect. That's what I want. And then thinking about the fact that A, I love living in cities and um, I grew up in rural New Hampshire, but like I love my cities. And B, that there probably isn't enough land for everyone in our cities to be buried outside of the city in a, in a natural burial, I started to think, well, what would the urban equivalent be of a natural burial? We put wood chips, alfalfa, and straw, and we lay a body onto a bed of that mixture, we cover it with more of the same, and then over the span of 30 days, we aerate, so we're providing oxygen, and essentially creating the perfect environment for beneficial microbial activity to occur. So over that span of 30 days, the body breaks down, including bones and teeth, and the resultant material is this beautiful soil that you can use to grow a tree or nourish a garden. The process happens all over the United States, but only on farms and in agricultural settings. So this is a process essentially that we've been doing with animals for decades now. It's really well researched and we know it works really well and it's a great way to return recycle animals to the earth.